Hello, welcome back to Revender in Sports and another edition of what is in our stand today. Today, I'm going to vent a little bit about internal nipples and why I think it's a dumb idea. Anyway, so before I get to the topic of today, if you would please subscribe to the channel, like, share, do all those good things that help grow the channel. And of course, hit that notification bell so you know when I've posted another video. All right, so this is a 3T. Uh, yep, the logo's on the same side or on the same area as both sides. This is a 3T Discus 35 team wheel. And it's disc, as you can see, discus. And it's from one of my customers' bikes that he's, he's been a good customer. He brings me a lot of his service. He's got a really nice mountain bike. He's got um, a nice BMC road bike. And then this is his gravel bike, a 3T gravel bike. So that's kind of where I'm going with this. This is a wheel for a gravel bike and it has internal nipples. And I'll go through why I think that's just a dumb idea idea in just a moment. But customer came to me because he has a broken spoke. Actually, I think it's his second spoke, might even be the third. And he said, hey, can you replace a spoke? You know, this is over text. I said, sure, you're no problem. He brings me the bike. And then that's when I see that it's internal nipples. <clears throat> and... I'm like, okay, well, let me see if I can track it down and see what it is and all this stuff. So my first step is I'm going to contact 3T. Contact 3T and say, listen, my customers had at least two broken spokes. And just so you know, typically when I've had a wheel breaking more than two spokes and definitely after three spokes, I usually recommend that customer, we rebuild the wheel. And then of course we do um, a cost feasibility study here where is this wheel worth rebuilding? Is, is it a good hub or is it a good rim? Is it salvageable? Do we put the time and effort and money into getting new spokes, nipples, and then the labor cost to rebuild a wheel? In this case, we're trying to figure out, okay, um, so he's had at least two broken spokes. We don't know, maybe three. I, I don't remember. And, and part of the reason why I don't remember is because this bike's been here now for over a month. Anyway, I contact 3T and I say, listen, this is what's going on with my customer. I'd like to send a wheel back and have it rebuilt because a lot of these wheel companies with a good warranty, they stand behind their product and they'll rebuild the wheel. Their response is, we don't have a North American, um, a service center in North America. So here are the parts, the, the spokes, the nipples. Uh, here's a tool, but we don't, a nipple wrench, but we don't have it in stock, you know. And this just became a serious problem because every time I would contact 3T, it would take a day or two, maybe three days to respond. And when I'd get a response, I always had follow-on questions and it would take another two to three days for them to respond. Well, we keep going on. Eventually, I find the correct spoke. I order it. It's a straight pull, an interesting setup. Straight pull is kind of nice because with a J-Bend spoke, you'd have to remove the cassette and the disc because when you feed the spoke through, you, you come in from the side. So you have to get rid of all this stuff. Whereas a straight pull, it just goes in either top or bottom through the hub this way. So a nice thing there. But that's about the only thing I like about this wheel. Then, the nipple being internal... None of my distributors carried it. And I have accounts with the largest distributors in the country for bike parts. Nobody had this internal nipple. 
So then I contact Sapin, trying to get the nipple from them, send them the picture, and they didn't recognize the spoke nipple saying, that's not one of ours. I, you know, And I had sent them the engineering drawing from 3T. This has just been a wild goose chase of the the be, the top degree or first it's degree, whatever it's called. Okay, so, and by the way, when I'm contacting Sapin, she's not getting my responses. So after two to three days when I, I don't get a response, I forward the email thread, bump it, and she's like, oh, I'm glad you bumped it because I'm not getting your responses. I don't know why. So again, follow on service has been atrocious with this wheel. So, but let me tell you why I don't like internal nipples. Number one, like I said, this customer told me that he doesn't, he doesn't really have confidence in his wheel and he wants me to look it over because he's already broken at least two spokes. But I can't see. I mean, I look at the nipple, it looks okay. You know, you, you try to look inside there. You can't tell if it's corroded or not. So that's number one. You can't even get a visual on it. Secondly, the reason some wheel manufacturers use internal nipples is the junction from the spoke to the nipple being external, they say it creates additional aerodynamic drag. Well, this wheel isn't all that deep. It's a 35, right? So 35 millimeters deep. Why would you need internal nipples on a 35 millimeter wheel? I don't get it. Number three, this is a gravel wheel. Logically, you might get this in some dirt, water crossings, mud, something. And that is going to be inside that wheel and that spoke nipple. And because this is being run tubeless, there'll be tubeless tape here. So whatever moisture gets in from the nipple hole is going to be trapped in there because these the tubeless tape is going to be here. I, I just don't understand. I mean, if you've got a really, really deep section wheel, I would imagine there is some aerodynamic drag of that external nipple. But you're looking at something this small. You're going to be riding a 35... Uh, what's he running on this? So he's running a Pirelli uh, gravel. This is, yeah, it is a 35 tire. So this isn't going to be that fast. He's riding it on dirt primarily as a gravel bike. So I don't understand why they did this. Absolutely, I don't get it. But what is interesting is if you go to 3T's website now, this bike is about three years old, I think the customer said. If you go to their website now, none of their gravel wheels are internal nipples. So who knows, maybe they finally learned that they were having a lot of problems with these wheels. It just doesn't make sense. So you can't get access to it. You can't see the structural integrity of the spoke. The parts are very hard to source internal nipples. I did a review just recently on, I should say an unboxing on these head wheels with standard spokes, with external nipples. These types of wheels are super easy to get repaired. The only high-end spec about this is that these are bladed, bladed spokes. But other than that, I mean, even, even though it is bladed spokes, if you found a round spoke, because maybe the bladed spokes are out of stock or 
or for whatever reason you're, you're in a race and the shop has a round spoke and not a bladed spoke, you can still put that in, get the bike back on the road or dirt and you're fine. This dumb. Personally, I don't ride any wheel that, you know, being a mechanic that I can't service. If I see internal nipples on a wheel design, I run away from it. And um, I think you should too. Now, question for you though. If you do not agree with me, please post politely, be nice. Post a comment below. Tell me why you think that internal nipples is a great idea and that you've had them and you've never had any problems, I guess. Uh, post that. I'd like to hear the other side of it but on my side i just think it's way too much of a hassle and if you're riding a bike that is going to be to be exposed to the elements in particular water this they shouldn't be external they need to be i'm sorry they should not be internal they should be external you can see them you can lube them you can you know if, if there's a problem with one of them you just Replace that spoke, you move on, and you're done. Anyway, that's me venting today about internal nipples. I appreciate your time, your attention. Please like and subscribe, and please hit that notification bell. In the meantime, we will see you up the road.